G'day, welcome back to another video. I know, it's been a long time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I better start off with that. Where have I been? What have I been doing? Why aren't I here? <laughs> um, yeah, been in and out of different jobs. Uh, did one for a while there. It was a bit of a pain in the ass, really. <laughs> um, yeah, spending a lot of time at work. There was a lot of overtime and stuff. Um, yeah, and it was a very physical job, so... By the time you get home from that, you just kind of crash. Don't do much. Don't do much at all. Um, yeah. On top of that, don't know if anyone knows. I've had type two diabetes for uh, a lot of years. <laughs> um, yeah, it wasn't diagnosed, and well, it still isn't really. I haven't been to the doctor. Um, but yeah, pretty much changed everything I'm doing, eating, um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, blood sugar's much better. It's way down compared to what it was. I think I started on uh, 26, so down around 7-ish now. Um, anyway, yeah, so that just led to a whole bunch of other problems. I was getting a lot of pain in the feet and legs and stuff. And, uh, yeah, one thing led to another, and then it turns out, yeah, it was diabetes. I thought I had all other problems, like that plantar fasciitis, the, the foot thing, flat feet. Um, yeah, turns out it wasn't that at all. <laughs> anyway, all that aside, uh, right now, currently, I'm in between jobs. Actually, uh, when I finished at the other place, I started at a, a nursery and uh, you know, for plants. And yeah, that wasn't too bad, but then they um, uh, they lost a few customers and things and there was just no work. So here I am again, sitting around in the RC room. <laughs> Anyway, something else will come up, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, with uh, different jobs and that just not happening, um, yeah, kind of haven't really had the the mojo or the, the push to get into the RC anymore. Just you're thinking about finding another job all the time and whatever else. <laughs> anyway, enough about all that. What's happening? Um, I'm going to get back into the builds. Um, going to do this uh, finish this revive rc um, custom body for the uh, td4 things like that there's a lot of things i'm behind on and with the recent re-release of the tamiya super saber and the uh, boomerang um well, i thought it was a good idea to you know get onto some things that i thought about for a long time which was uh, well i've already restored a boomerang and a super saber but uh the winger you know the uh the body set that was available for the uh the boomerang basically and uh the dash one emperor which that was another body set uh from tamiya they just uh brought it out just to go on the boomerang <laughs> news just in i actually posted a picture of the the super saber and the boomerang on uh, instagram saying all about my plans what i was going to do with the dash emperor body um yeah <laughs> So someone on there commented that the Dash Emperor body is actually for the Terra Scorcher or Thundershot, all that series of cars. I don't know, I totally forgot all about that. It's been quite a while, as you know. <laughs> anyway, I thought I've got two options. I can either uh, use a Terra Scorcher or a Thundershot or something. Um, that'd be kind of easy. Or my second option... Still use a boomerang, but I'm thinking I'll have to change the front shocks to take the mono shock off and run dual shocks. That could be a thing. Um, so that one will be interesting. We'll see what happens there. Alrighty, back to the video. Uh, you would have seen Glenn from Tamiya Legends um, and RC Legends. He's done a couple of, uh, he, well, he's done the, the Dash 1 Emperor. He's also done the, the Winger, and I think he's done them both a couple of times. Um, but yeah. Back years ago, uh, when I saw that, um, I went and bought the bodies and started collecting parts and all that. Never got around to it, but I figured with the release of the Boomerang and the uh, Super Saber, or the re-releases, um, good time to get onto it. And as you can see here, when I was digging around in the shed, I pulled out the Super Saber and the Boomerang I restored back in 2017 or 2016. And after finding these two, I dug deeper in the shed and come across a box of old parts and a box of new parts for the Boomerang and the Super Sabre. So looking at our old parts, we've got some blue parts there. Randoms. <laughs> and some steering bits. A couple of arms. And we've got some yellow and red shocks. A bunch of gearbox parts. 
I even got an MRC servo and a couple of Sanwa servos. Got some old bumpers. This one's broken. Anyway, there's a good one. And yeah, bunch of tyres and wheels. Tyres look pretty good, most of them. And we've got a couple of Super Saber bodies. Both of those have damage around the back, so I'm probably not going to use them at all if I do actually get around to restoring another Super Sabre. I've got a couple of chassis there. One got nothing on it, and the other two are Super Sabre uh, chassis. This one looks pretty good. This one might actually stay as a uh, Super Sabre. And we've got some random gearbox parts and things. New bumper set, and some more blue bits. Now looking at the new parts, there's a bunch of new arms and various gears, got two sets of shocks, yellow shocks, um, some tyres, a bunch of screw bags and some more blue parts, a new chassis and there you go. Now I've still got the TD4 to finish with the Revive RC body. I've got the painting done, i just got to do the stickers. I'm sort of doing custom ones so it's taking a bit longer. And for those of you wondering about the track out the back, well, as you can see, not much has happened. I took down a lot of trees and finally got rid of that big tree, the palm tree behind the shed. So we're in the shed now. And there's the cabinets where I pulled my parts out for the boomerang. Make our way down the back. And for those frog fans, ribbit. <laughs> and we've got to say good day to old Cedric. Old Cedric watches over everything in the shed. So we'll squeeze past all these tubs of RC cars and parts and stuff. <laughs> yeah, everywhere. <laughs> anyway, get over to this cabinet over here. There are lots of parts and stuff in there. Now in one of these boxes is our TBG winger body. There's a Falcon body down the bottom there. And also our uh, Dash 1 Emperor. Now yeah, while I was in the RC room I noticed quite a while back the front suspension on the hotshot broke. This is one I restored a couple of years ago. A uh, mate was over on the weekend and we noticed the, uh, the back one's also broken. So I need a, a new part for that and I've got plenty of new arms. So when I was digging out the Super Sabre I found some more hotshot parts in a box there. Always good to have more parts. And I found even more. Got a bunch of suspension arms there in this tub. Fantastic. So I dig into the box and there's some Wild One wheels in the bottom. And a bunch of oval block tyres for the Hotshot, Boomerang, Super Sabre, all of them. And some more Hotshot bits. Can never have too many parts. Especially when they break on the shelf. <laughs> so I'll put all them together. And looking in the cabinet at the back, there's even more Hotshot parts. So I'll get that out and see what's in it. And this turns out to be original hotshot parts from back in the day. Uh, spare bumper and things there. Always handy. I don't ever drive that hotshot, so I don't really need it. There's some red parts in there, but not the red parts I need. I believe this is a, a D tree and I need the E tree. There's some gears and stuff in there too. Alright, back to the Dash 1 and the winger. Now I'll get some of this stuff out of the way. Beautiful. Now, looking at our wings, we've got our, uh, and body, got our winger body right there, looking pretty good, and the wing to go with it, very nice. And we've got our Dash 1 Emperor. Looks pretty nice. And the wings and pieces to go with it. There's the wing and these bits go on the side there somewhere. My hands don't want to work. Something like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, paint it up and we'll all see how it looks. It should be fantastic. Uh, the winger, I'm thinking I might go like a charcoal, gunmetal grey maybe. Uh, I think the standard colour is white, maybe silver. I may even check out silver. I'm not really sure. 
but we'll do it a little bit different to how it should be. And I think the Dash 1 Emperor will just go white. It's pretty basic. And I don't think I can really make it look that good by changing the colour. <laughs> so, of course, the bodies are made by TBG. Uh, they, they look pretty good. Uh, never really have a problem with TBG bodies. Always pretty nice. Uh, decals. There we go. Got some winger decals. Naturally, they're from uh, MCI. Great quality. And we've got the dash decals right there. Um, one way or the other. Yeah, anyway. So we're right for decals, we're right for bodies, and we're almost right for parts. I'm sure when, when I get to building them all, I'll find parts that I'm missing here and there, and probably have to wait, order them. Um, we'll see how it goes. Well, that's it for this video. Bit of news, bit of an update. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get back into the builds very soon. Starting with these uh, resto mods, or whatever you want to call them. Builds restos whatever um yeah i'll probably do the um the winger first i reckon uh then on to the the dash one emperor or vice versa um not not really sure uh but yeah if there's enough parts left over i'll make another uh, super saber do a restoration on that should be nice and very soon i'll get this finished the uh the td4 with the revive rc body on it that'll be nice well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. It was kind of lengthy and kind of boring. <laughs> but I just, I just thought I'd let you know what's going on and what's going to be happening. And uh, yeah, talk about these new cars that I'm, well, old new cars that I'll be building soon. All right. Well, if you liked the video, give it a thumb up. That'd be great. Subscribe if you're new here. And um, yeah, these builds will be done, yeah, I reckon around probably the new year but i'll get one of them smashed out before christmas no problem at all <laughs> Alrighty, thanks for watching